true spring color palette, how to integrate it into your wardrobe and what fits your skin color perfectly. True spring color palette is the apogee of the whole spring chart conglomeration. Spring is predominantly warm and bright in colors, while its owner main features are subtle and clear. This central part of spring is the peak of true color development. It's like a raw and fresh apple from the tree covered in the morning moist. It's high in contrast. The colors deviate from green to bright red, creating the vividness and radiant glare of spring. True spring is right in between the bright spring and light spring, making its colors deep and rich. All the undertones and warm and the harsh line of contrast becomes precise but still really narrow. Characteristics for True Spring color palette Just imagine the beginning of April. It's the middle of spring already and the sun is already hot with its golden sunbeams. People are bathed in with the honey sunlight and everything is becoming yellowish in our surrounding. The trees are bright green, the grass is not just green, it's intensely bright in color. The sky is becoming golden and there is a warm hue in the air. It's the prime season for ripe fruits like mango and papaya. The cherries are blossoming and the strawberries are vividly red, varying from slight coral to deep burgundy red color palette. It's a warm palette, even though it has a slight medium contrast between the skin color and the very complementary features. This is why we need to balance it out with compatible warm shades and undertones. The central color palette is always a peak of true shades, and in this case it's warm and golden. So here you have already checked the colors on the palette and figured out that not all colors will suit you. So now you're doubting whether you are a true spring at all? Don't worry, not exactly all colors from the palette are meant to fit your appearance 100%. The main thing that will concern you and the True Spring palette is that you need to figure out if your skin is a cold or warm time, because spring is predominantly warm. How to find out if your skin type is warm or cold? And this is really easy to do. The fastest way to understand what your main type is to face yourself in the mirror and play around with gold and silver jewelry. For example. If you see that you have a slightly pinkish skin undertone and silver earrings suit you better, you are a cold type. If you have olive shaded skin and gold jewels suit you better, you are a warm one. You do have a soft appearance color-wise, but it's not completely true when technical resources say that your features appear somewhat grayed out or toned down. There are people with grayish appearance, it's true, but their blue eyes definitely stand out from the whole picture. They are somewhat muted, but in general, you can clearly see that the color of the eyes does stand out from the whole picture of the colors. Your true colors are muted, but if you add a spring color to your features, or at least one of them, they will definitely stand out with the right palette. Your features will be enhanced. It might be true that the contrast between your skin, eyes and hair is low to medium, but the important thing is that a usual person that reads these statements in the book will not be able to identify that contrast. It's difficult to figure out which chroma, hue and contrast your own appearance has. My advice to you is not to put so much attention to these technicalities and just go along with a simpler explication of what your palette is. The features of True Spring Color Palette Eyes Spring eyes are always bright and clear looking that are light blue, blue-green turquoise, all olive, warm brown that are golden in an undertone. Skin. True spring is always a lighter than hair, however, it's still warm in an undertone. The most common shade is fair, 
in winter that can even be ivory light during the warm season it can catch a slight tan and freckles and have pink blush on the cheeks it's not too dark it's definitely not like a latin kind of skin hair lingering to lighter shades like natural blonde dark blonde golden honey blonde strawberry blonde red honey or copper honey brown shades often with highlights or even tones darker on the roots and lighter on the ends am i true spring or true autumn i know what you would ask why the true autumn is here because those are the seasons that lay opposite to each other on the color palette chart. They have the same kind of undertone, which is warm. The only thing that distinguishes them is that autumn is not highly or medium contrasted and true spring is. In autumn, colors are rich and deep, while spring consists of bright and vivid hues that don't blend in. The later ones contrast with each other. How to mix and match a true spring color palette in your wardrobe? In technical fashion materials, it is being stated that you should only combine colors from one color palette that belongs to your skin tone, as harsh and way too bright or cold colors can create an undesirable effect on the skin, especially if you have a delicate muted appearance. I have already mentioned that dark, warmer colors can still be used for the lower body. The main center is always your facial zone, which attracts the most attention. So you mainly need to concentrate on the face and the decolletage zone with your true spring color palette. You have to understand that even if you use all blue combination or all dusty pink or creamy combinations in your upper and lower body, it will be color correct for your skin, but still might be unflattery if your body shape is not perfect like hourglass shape. Especially it concerns those that have an ampler bottom like pear body shape. So that would mean that light pink pants will not be the best choice for your bottom line, because they can make you look even bigger than you actually are. And this is what we are trying to avoid when constructing the perfect wardrobe for you. I would highly advise you to check out the articles that are attached down below this video in regards to each and every body shape. Please consult your own body shape and how to construct the perfect capsule or basic wardrobe for your body shape. Neutrals for the True Spring color palette. True spring is mixed with winter colors, but when it comes to neutrals like white, black or beige, it needs to be softened. Otherwise, pitch black harshness will wash your beauty out. I would suggest introducing softer tonalities like dark grey instead of crispy black and off-white instead of clear crispy white. Colors to avoid for True Spring color palette. True Spring is not about coolness like during summer times. It's warm and bright, so it's better to avoid muted shades like grey and pitch black. The blue color palette might look unhealthy on you, so leave it alone for other color palettes. Patterns and prints for the True Spring color palette. Patterns are usually used for upper body garments like blouses, sweaters or summer dresses. People rarely wear trousers with patterns. Most likely blatant colors are being used. As a True Spring type, you can wear prints but those would need to be in the right color palette for you. If you see a patterned fabric, you need to concentrate on the primary color of the whole garment. There might be blue flowers on white, but you need to figure out which color is primary here. It's primarily white that is basic here, so you need to see if that primary color is from your True Spring palette. It is believed that True Spring needs to use low to medium contrast because of the delicacy of natural beauty. You might still go for low level contrast, which would be right for you. However, there is always a solution if you don't find anything from this guide. Jewelry for True Spring color palette. How to fix your non-perfect colored look with just one thing. And that might be a necklace. And for me, it's pearls. 
be mindful that pearls need to fit your skin color perfectly. When you put something like a pearl necklace on your neck, you create a rough separation between the wrong color for your skin and the necklace and the color that doesn't suit you. So the chain is going to be the primary color reflector for your skin color. For example, I have a purple dress that does not really fit my skin color and my face tends to look a little bit tired with it and you know it especially if you have blue eye bags in the morning and you feel tired but I still like this dress and I want to keep it it doesn't make me look the best but I can work it out so I create a cut between the color and my face with a pearl necklace that perfectly fits my skin so the jewelry is the first color reflector Nima face please check out the article on how to wear a pearl necklace and where to buy it better down below this video as stated between gold and silver, I'd recommend gold as it's warm enough for your skin tone. Silver is appropriate if it was mixed with gold and looks primarily warm toned. Pearls need to be cream white, color as it matches your complexion perfectly. Thank you so much for staying here with me, I hope this information was useful for you, so don't forget to subscribe, put a like and let me know what you think in the comments down below. See you in the next episode.